Hello my angels, welcome back, happy Thursday and welcome to my new studio. Ah, I've posted some pictures on Instagram and Facebook if you want to have a look at the whole thing. Um, it's a little room, it's a tiny room, uh, but it actually fits everything really, really well in it. This is my beautiful uh, black panther, which I actually call a black jaguar because I have a black jaguar as one of my spirit guides. And my cousin painted it and I just absolutely love her. And she's been sitting in um, the other studio. She's been sitting there, but none of you guys could see her. And I, I wanted to go for like a indigo colour to this room. So we've got these kind of bluey, goldy indigo curtains. Obviously, we have Excalibur. Um, here he is. Obviously, we have Excalibur. We have the Jaguar. I've got an indigo carpet and I also have these beautiful um what are they called display cabinets so we have the display cabinets here we have the indigo rug um and then this one is all the tarry that i use regularly and then over here we have another one and a cup of tea that's my cup of tea we have another one and this one is more the incenses the magic etc etc the uh all the druid stuff in this one and that is basically the studio it's, it's uh, a little box room it's small but i had a choice my partner said do you want do you want the big room or do you want the little room and i was like well you know i won't be selfish on this i will give the big room to the baby because he's probably going to need it more plus we have like prams and push chairs and cots and everything to go in there and i figured to just kind of fit it in this small room um it would have been a little bit of a mission plus actually you know what i quite like the intimacy of this small room and i think it's um now it's all done up he's still wonky now it's all done up i feel really um really really happy with it i love it in here so this is my little space. This is your space to be. This is where all your readings will be taking place. And this is our beautiful black jaguar slash panther. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what we are doing today is what is on their mind about you? So we're going to go into their little minds, find out what's happening uh, within their thought process on it all, uh, find out where their thoughts currently are towards you and what's, what's running through their mind. So as always, we've got two decks to pick up from. Uh, deck number one and deck number two. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to. This is the Celtic Tarot, this is the Robin Wood Tarot. So we're going for a very kind of earthly theme today, uh, where I was drawn. Number one, number two, pick your deck. Okay, let's do this. Step number one. So, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Number one. And think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. I've had this lamp for years as well i absolutely love this lamp and it's been sitting in my hallway and when i was unpacking i was like you know what i'll go put it in the office i'll go put it in the studio <laughs> okay right so yeah works on the strongest mutual energy between you all what else do i need to tell you so regardless of your individual circumstances goes into all your energy all your people's energy and pulls out the strongest energy like how we worked out the average of mass at school like that basically so let's find out can you tell me with deck number one what is on their person's mind about you so as i'm going into the energy we're going to start off with a very very typical song coming up when we're talking of the mind um and that was you are always you are always on my always on my mind what is on their mind about the person watching this the collective energy then we're getting uh you only know you love her when you let her go i wonder if i could if we got that just talking to spirit then we're getting Sing Me A Song of The Last That Is Gone. Again, that came out the other week from the Outlander film. I, I just asked them if they can give us a song per card. <laughs> you see what we get. I'm gonna, never going to remember them all. Then we're getting Dreams Come True. What's on their mind about deck number one? Then I'm getting Let It Be by The Beatles. And then at the very end, I'm hearing full steam ahead and I'm actually going to stop the cards there. Now, that isn't a song. The last one isn't a song. I can't actually remember the songs that they've just given you. So when I channel with spirit, when they give me songs and when they talk to me, 
it's like total amnesia so after a reading i don't remember anyone's reading like straight away because the energy is gone Um, kind of the same when i'm doing the public readings when i hear the stuff on spirit taught to me i get the energy coming forward um and then it's kind of gone like total amnesia so they gave you a little bit of a playlist there all of those songs will be in relation to your um, your energy with your person, okay? So every single one of them. There will be moments of those songs that reside with a lot of you. There will be some of those songs which hit, speak more to people within this. There will be some of those songs that everyone watching that they know that this is actually this song. Uh, this song meant this to them. Um, so whichever songs kind of resonate with you, um, go with that. Now... There isn't specifically a link with the songs. I just asked Spirit to give us a song per card because I thought it would be quite interesting, quite fun thing for us to do. Now, with the end of it saying full steam ahead, there is going to be quite a strong direct movement coming in, but it's kind of not yet. All right. So we need to remember this one kind of popping in at the end. So what is in your person's thoughts about you? What's in the, going through their mind about you? Your person's feeling stuck. They're feeling overwhelmed. They're feeling a little bit lost. They're feeling a little bit confused. They're feeling um, kind of trapped at this moment in time. They know that this is a very divine spiritual connection. They sense that it is something that is a little bit out of the norm. Then, oh, baby's kicking. Don't kick too low, mate. <laughs> You're gonna kick my bladder. We're gonna start needing to wee. Um, <laughs> they know that this situation is a little bit stuck. They have created this sticky, stagnant energy around you guys. They know this. So your person has kind of trapped themselves in the situation with their mind, getting themselves into a bit of sticky and a little bit stagnant. OK, so you're going to feel that this situation has come to like a not much really happening. What is going on now? Even though they are feeling like they're putting a bit of a pause on the situation, they are still forward focused. OK, so they are still thinking about you. They are still thinking about a future with you. It's just that they're not doing anything about it at this moment in time. Now, let me just pull some cards as to why the energy is stagnant. Why is there people? Why are there people stagnating the energy? So we have a fear coming up, a fear of being hurt, a fear of being, um, yeah, being hurt. So with the Three of Swords kind of coming up over here and the Nine of Pentacles, your person just isn't quite ready to offer you the commitment that you want, okay? And the reason why is because of stuff that's happened in the past. So they've probably been through shitty situations where people have broken their heart and they haven't known what to do about the situation. And when we're looking at the songs, and I can hear that... Um, let it be by the Beatles, okay? As we're feeling that energy kind of coming forward, I know that song came up a second ago. This is to do with your person leaving the past behind. So at the moment, they're kind of stuck between the two worlds. They're stuck between the world that you can give them and they're stuck between the world that is the past. Now, like I said, they are still forward focused. So even though they're feeling stuck, they are still thinking there is a future here with you if they get the courage and strength to take it, okay? Stagnating the energy and they're just, you know, they're scared of losing their freedom. They're scared of, you know, everything that they've worked towards to be the person that they are today. They've stagnated that energy. They've also got a weird worry, a weird worry about history repeating itself. And as I'm, I'm pulling out the five of cups, even though it doesn't mean that, Spirit really clearly saying to me, history repeating itself, they're worried about that. Now, it might be history with you guys. It might be history to do with an ex or something along those lines. But they do have this kind of worry and doubt um, of all this pain that they went through before. They don't want to go through it again and i just got a song another song <laughs> it really is a playlist um i got another song this one's a taylor swift one and uh it's terribly 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 sad and it's oh shit which one is it um it is i heard it it went again i need them to bring it back to me so I, I heard two songs, I, I got Last Kiss, but it wasn't that one, that that one came kind of secondly, that one's really sad, um, but it was about, um, you know, I can't reach out to you and risk another goodbye, you know, it never ever occurred to you that I can't say hello to you and risk another goodbye, um, I can't remember what the song is called, maybe it was Last Kiss, I can't remember what the song is called, but that energy coming up. OK, so very, very heavy energy with you guys. Um, your person's thoughts on this. Very, very heavy. Very, very sad. Very lost. Heartbroken. Low. I don't really know what to do about the situation. So I'm just going to stay put and not do anything at all because I'm scared of history repeating itself. I'm scared of going through this serious, serious heartbreak and pain again. Now, 
moving forward okay so this is where the energy is currently at and this is why you're going to be feeling stagnant you know why it's all a little bit shit moving forward okay forward movement we know that there's quite a rapid movement coming in your pace person has been watching you on social media if you are not in contact they are definitely stalking your profile if you are in contact um most likely communication is going to be coming through the internet so like whatsapp or facebook or messenger Facebook and Messenger, like the same thing, right? Um, most likely to come through that portal, maybe email, rather than deliberate text messages coming through from your person. Some of you guys use Snapchat as well. Uh, that kind of coming forward, internet connection kind of, uh, uh, can get my words up, internet connection coming through here. So forward movement with the internet connection, victory coming out the other side of it so your person is going to make quite an abrupt movement towards you so you're going to feel you guys are going to feel like nothing is ooh, nothing is really happening you're going to be feeling a little bit of a loss you're going to be feeling at this very very heavy energy this very very sad energy and out of nowhere bing, you have this movement coming towards you from your person now what causes the shift in that your person has a reality check okay so they miss you and this is why that um, song came up at the start. You only know you love her when you get let her go. I know we get that kind of quite a lot, but you always, I will always tell you what they give me. Um, so your person, what is going to cause this change in their energy is they are going to have a period of reflection. They're going to see the way. They're going to stop blocking the way and they are going to come to you um, and express their emotions for you. So they're probably going to say to you that they miss you. They're probably going to say to you that they love you. Um, they're probably going to say to you that they treated you like shit and you were feeling very, very sad and they understand that now. Uh, there is definitely going to be a understanding energy coming forward from the communication that comes from them to you. So your person is going to miss you, long for you, grieve for you and make that move towards you. And even if you guys are in contact, it's the same energy coming forward. So even if you two are speaking and communicating, your person um, and their mind on it is they're going to long for you and miss you, even though they're talking to you. Perhaps it's going to be missing your physical presence and there is a journeying coming forward. OK, so over here we have... Um, I'm seeing this flower, but I'm seeing lavender instead. Now, I don't know any of you know a band called Marillion, uh, and they sang a song called Lavender, um, and it always says in there, I'm going to find a way back to you. And it also says a penny for your thoughts, my dear. Really, really strong ringing coming through my left ear as I'm giving you this message over. Again, higher frequency, likely to inflame connections with this energy coming up here for some of you guys at the very least. So we have this chalice, we have this cup of abundance coming forward from them. Um, emotional stability, security, really making those moves towards you um, and going through this rebirth. And what will cause this rebirth is them kind of missing you, longing for you, wanting to communicate with you and see how you are, see what's going on. And like I said, even if you are in communication, your person will still have that longing and that yearning um, to come back towards you. Okay, start making those moves more towards you. Um, anything else specifically that's going to cause that rebirth with them? Just watching, watching, watching what you're up to, debating their choices on it all, thinking about you um, and worrying as well that they are going to be losing you. There is a doubt and a worry that they will lose you for good if they don't make a quicker move towards you. So again, it kind of comes back to this energy of I will make these fast movements. So right now, as we're looking at the energy right now, there is this heaviness, there is this sadness, there is this I'm stuck in my ways and I'm not really shifting giving it a little bit of time uh, and pushing spirit for a timing on it all. They're saying about two months for you guys. Um, with the pushing of the timing that's coming towards you, you've got this movement coming in, quite rapid movement, likely through the internet. Going to start watching your social media a little bit more than what they have been. And then through this planet, through this planet, <laughs> that's divine messages starting to come forward there. Uh, I will sit down and channel what they're saying in a second because that was quite a quite a uh, planetary slip okay so movement forward forward focused rebirth happening with you guys so the mind energy at the moment it's a bit stubborn but it is going to create a shift and it won't be too far into the future and that shift will bring about a new possibilities for you 
that's step number one so if you need me drop a message all the uh details are in the description and in the comments uh follow me on instagram if you haven't that's just mr love tarot um you can also follow my personal one which is private but you can come and find me on there a few of you guys have already done that it's ali marie 86 if you want my personal one uh just bear in mind that it's full of rubbish <laughs> i post a lot of rubbish um um, what else? I think that's it. So yeah, welcome to my new home. Thank you for bearing with me the last couple of weeks of so things have turned around. Baby's doing okay. We are at 30 weeks now. So another seven weeks and we made it full term. Can you believe it? Um, still recording maternity readings for you for when uh, little one arrives and I need a little bit of downtime. Uh, I will still be in the background. I will still be checking my emails. Uh, I'll probably have out of office on for a little while and then I'll stick it back on and you guys can communicate. But I will keep you posted every step of the way. Um, even with the maternity ones that I've pre-recorded from the, the other house, um, I will leave a little voice note, oh, not a voice note, a little video at the start of each one. Um, so you know where we are, what's going on, etc, etc. But now he's doing good, he's doing good. I feel the size of a house now. I'll show you quickly. Uh, where are you, baby? We're out here now, 30 week. <laughs> We're out here. So, um, big boy. Well, maybe he's not that big, but I feel big. I feel huge. I had to finally pack in the gym because I couldn't I couldn't do anything any there anymore. It was just, it got too intense for me. So I'm doing yoga, which is really nice. Um, pregnancy yoga and I'm doing swimming. So still keeping the exercise up, just not going and doing deadlifts anymore which to be fair I haven't done for the whole pregnancy <laughs> I, I, I nailed that on my head right at the start but I have still done some resistance training and strength training so I have to stop that <sighs> okay and that's it that's step number one all right my beauties love you loads and I'll speak to you soon blessings okay guys deck number two so we're doing what's on their mind about you um as always it works on the strongest collective energy between you all if you just tapped in tuned in turned on if you go to the start of the video i show you the new studio welcome to it welcome to your new home uh, and my new home for reading so if you want to go and have a look i also posted on instagram and facebook with some more pictures on there so if you haven't found that instagram and facebook go over it's just missed it love tarot obviously hit like hit subscribe and we are rocking and rolling so what is on their mind about you let's do this what else do i need to tell you i was just telling everyone at the end of deck number one about the baby where we're at i was saying about the house move where that's at uh, well we're here obviously um but yeah really good puppy so Poppy is making a den. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's like this, scurrying across the, uh, the, the, the rug in the bedroom, trying to nestle down, because she, she always does that. And she, she, she must be like, Mum, you've got eyes at the back of your head. How do you know what I'm doing when you're sitting in a different room? But the amount of noise she makes when she does that, she stopped now. She's like, oh, got told off. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So what is happening? What's on the... What is on your person's mind about you? Let's do this. So in the last reading, I got Spirit to give us individual songs per card. And I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do the same. So I never remember remember songs as Spirit kind of give them. It's like, I was just saying at the start of the, well, saying at the other reading, it's like total amnesia because it's such a channel and it's so fast and I'm, I'm on um delta and theta brainwaves rather than alpha beta it's like total amnesia rather than just remembering specifically what they say so this one kind of coming up i'm hearing um i don't know who it was but listen to your heart can you hear it saying telling me to give you everything see was it elton john seasons may change winter to spring but i love you Quite interesting that, because that's nine of pentacles. So it's a bit of a weird card to get that song for, but that's what we're getting. And this one, the hanged man in reverse. Do you believe, do you believe in miracles? You can get me to sing. What's going through their person's mind about those watching? Empress, okay, I'm hearing with that one, treat them mean, keep them keen. That's not a song, but I'm hearing that. What's on that person's mind about you? Okay, 
Let Love Lead the Way. That might be a Disney song. Hold On um, by, I forget when they sang it, it was probably 90s. In fact, I'm getting two. I'm also getting, we're getting a bit more modern. We're getting Skepta, Hold On, Skepta. And uh, the other one was Hold On, and I think it was by Marie Phillips from the 80s. Hold on for just one more day. Okay, and let me just get the overall outcome for what's on their mind about you. Let's get a hand slip. What's on their mind about you? One, two. Okay, quite interesting. Deck number one ended with the six of wands and deck number two has ended with the six of wands. So if you guys have watched deck number one and then thought, well, you know what, I'm going to watch deck number two, you still get in the same outcome at the end of it, okay? So quick movement, stepping in, victory, success. Now, when we're looking at your person's mind and where they are and what's going through it, we have got, Spirit, Spirit is saying, a little bit of a challenging energy happening. We have a battle of the heart and the head, okay? We have a battle of the emotions. We have a battle going on of what they want in their heart, where their emotions are leading them, and what their head is telling them. And you've got this really kind of torn energy between the two. So you might find, if you're in communication, that they're blowing a little bit hot and cold with you. If you're not in communication, um, you, that your person is debating their choices with this, debating reaching out to you, speaking to you, and then trying to change their mind on it a little bit. Reason why is this nine of pentacles, okay? So your person enjoys their freedom, they enjoy their peace, they enjoy the easy life that they have and when it comes to you guys they don't always have an easy life. Now I don't mean that in a derogatory way, I don't mean that in a negative way, it's because of these emotions okay. So ow num bum, my bum's gone really sore, how long have we been sitting here? Like 20 minutes? Really sore bum. Um, so you have this impact of emotions going on and so when it comes to your person's emotions it can worry them and it can scare them because they have this very very strong pull towards you. So they like their freedom, they like their space, they like the relationship that they have kind of with themselves. So when it comes to the connection with you and the intensity of it and the overwhelming feelings of it, sometimes they will withdraw from it, okay? Um, it's not a reflection on their emotions for you. They have got very, very deep feelings for you. Um, they can see with the Empress popping up over here, they can see that the two of you have got a future. Uh, the Empress, she will often signify physical pregnancy, but she can also signify pregnancy of giving birth to dreams, okay? Now, when we're asking what's going through their mind about you, we have this shift in energy with the hanged man in reverse. So at the moment, they're like, yeah, I like my freedom. I like my space. Um, I'm not giving you the commitment that you want. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to stop being a, a, a bit of a knob. I'm going to stop being a bit of a knob. I'm going to flip the energy around. I'm going to make moves towards you because I can see that we can have a future over here. Lots of potential happening with deck number one. Okay, even uh, we're in deck number two. <laughs> Lots of potential happening with deck number two. Now, even if it's stagnant, they are still holding on to the situation. So even if nothing has really happened with you guys um, and you're feeling a little bit lost on whether this can go anywhere, again, deck number one, you have got a few of the echoing cards here. Um, there is a forward focus, okay? And they are still holding on to the relationship with you guys. So it just showed me that red string string yeah red thread red string um of destiny you know we talked about that before if you don't know what i'm on about go and have a google so you've got a very much in the back of their mind they are still they are thinking about you um they're thinking about the connection with you they're thinking of the potential for a future and again you have your victory over here that it's going to kind of come round in the direction that you want it to um with this one, as I'm pulling this out, I'm getting Mr. Blue Sky, which was from the 60s. Who loves the hippie music out there other than me? Uh, Mr. Blue Sky. I can't remember who sang that. Please tell us why. Please tell us why. We've had to hide away for so long. Where did things go wrong? Please tell us why. Please tell us why. Something. Mr. Blue Sky. Okay. So your person is going to have this realisation and which is why the Hierophant is coming up. All right. Understanding the truth of a situation. He's in reverse. So it's like he has had your person has had this energy coming on um, 
of the connection, the freedom that they want um, versus the head and the heart. The heart is going to win. The heart is going to dictate it. And that's when Mr. Blue Sky will come forward and your person is going to give you the commitment that you want. Um, if you are in England and Mr. Blue Sky, likely that you could be from Coventry, from what I can remember when I lived there with the football team. So let's just ask... That was a long time ago when I lived in Coventry. Um, let's just ask what will cause the shift in your person? What's going to cause the shift in deck number two of the person's mind? They're going to have a realisation and it's quite interesting over here when we look at the four of pentacles. So this is them clinging on to the situation with you. Now, if you look at their face, they're kind of grumpy. All right. So your person um, is might might see something on social media that you post, which pisses them off. And they're like, oh, didn't like that. I want my territory back. I want to want a territory in brackets. I want to communicate with you. I want to see what you're up to. I didn't like what you posted. Um, I'm the one that's in love with you. No one else can be in love with you. So hold on. I'm coming. And this is where the chariot comes forward as well. So they know in the mind, they already know that the longer term you two can be together and that the two, you two can be in a relationship, they just are not quite ready at this point in time, okay? But it doesn't mean they're not thinking about you. It doesn't mean they haven't got emotions towards you. In fact, you are running through their mind a awful amount. Um, it's just that right now they can't give you the commitment they want. They're going to have a change on it. Likely going to be something that they see on social media or, you know, it might not even be to do with you on social media. It could be to do with someone else posting a, um, a mem or a meme, whatever you call them, um, and saying love is when you lose someone and you, you miss them and blah, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. They will see something on social media, which is going to make them think. And through that thought process, this movement comes back to you. Quite a few cards of movement over here with Chariot. And with, again, with this kind of victory coming forward with the Six of Wands, definite realising the truth that they have been lying to themselves. The two cards that are in reverse, we've got the Hanged Man and the Hierophant. Hierophant in reverse, however you want to say it. Um, the truth you know where where they've been holding on to what they thought was real reality again wanting to be free wanting to be you know single not committing that's going to fade away and with the hanged man again him in reverse this is your movement coming towards you um stepping away from this nine of pentacles singles energy and heading to this empress i want a future with you i want to be with you you are the one for me and that's a song as well um also with that i'm getting robbie williams she's the one really interesting on the way to my my old gym i've got to change gym now um i used to drive past robbie williams's house i live in stoke um i used to drive robbie williams past robbie williams's house where he was born um i'd love to take a picture for you but obviously i'm in the car and i can't do that and i've got you know gym bags and things like that um, i would have to walk it and it's i haven't walked it but you do see um you do see where we used to live there's a big sign that says robbie williams lived here with his family and it was a pub and i'm sure it's called the red lion pub if you ever wanted to have a look for all you Robbie Williams fans out there. That's turn number two. Change your subject completely talking about Robbie Williams at the end. She's the one, you know, they know that they, they have these emotions for you. They're just in this little bit of a, yeah, spirit saying chasing their tail with regard to having freedom and with regard to the head and with regard to the heart, chasing their tail around with it. Uh, but the cycle will break. It will break and that breaking in the cycle will make them make moves towards you. Now, when we're looking at their mind and what's happening within their mind about you, there is a love, there is a fear. And as we know, love and fear are total opposites. People think love and hate are fear. It is actually love and love. People think love and hate are opposites. Love and fear are the opposite um, energy spectrums of frequency. So um, with their emotions for you, they are going to sometimes feel this fear energy. Um, and that fear energy can override the heart energy. But it won't be for long. Your person will miss you and they will make these strong movements towards you. They'll see something, piss them off, and that will make them connect with you. And that's step number two. Okay, my beauties. Well, thank you for bearing me with me the last couple of weeks as I've transitioned from the old house to the new house. Like I said, if you haven't seen the studio uh, and you want to go back, it's on the start of the video. It's also on Instagram and Facebook. I am sending loads of love to you all. I will speak to you soon. Drop me a message if you need me. Uh, gmail is best also facebook instagram okay gmail facebook instagram and if you want more details and readings they are all on the website www.mysticlovetarot.com 
Uh, okay, guys, love you lots. Ciao.